some kind of weird alarm going off outside in the neighborhood. I have no idea what it is, but it's just, it's loud. I think it's down that way somewhere. Right, hello, my YouTube neighbor. I am running late. Now, I wanted to talk about myself a little bit. This is something that makes my life pretty difficult and a lot of people in my family get kind of upset at me about, but I, uh, I don't live on a 24 hour schedule. I don't, I just don't exist in that way. I live on probably about like a 26 hour schedule. And by that, I mean, I mean, if you notice this week, every video, I'm like, oh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Cause I've been trying to force myself to be awake and working in the store when I need to be to get these hauls done. Today, I just had to sleep. So what happened was last night, I, uh, I fell asleep at around 10 when my wife and son usually go to bed. I was tired, but it was way earlier than I'd been going to sleep. So I only slept four hours. After four hours, I just couldn't sleep anymore. So I got up at 2 a.m. and uh, I just, I could not sleep. So I just did work until about like 7, 8 a.m. Then I was just too tired. So I went back to sleep. Uh, I was tr going to try to get up at nine because I really wanted the She-Ra bag and Funko Pop set. Uh, but I just, I decided to sleep. My wife tried to get it for me. I don't think she got it because I don't see any orders for it. And so I just went to sleep and then I just woke up at, uh, about 1.50 and my wife is gone to pick up my son from school. So, uh, I'm in the shop with a ton of work to do. <laughs> so basically what happens is I function on being awake for about 17 hours. If I go to bed with less than 17 hours of being awake, I toss and turn and I just cannot fall asleep. So I just get up and do other things and it just wrecks my schedule. And then if I try to stay up longer than 17 hours because I want to try to get back to a normal schedule, I end up sleeping like 13 hours. So it doesn't help at all. So what happens is I need eight to nine hours of sleep when I sleep. So if I'm up for 17 hours and then I sleep for eight hours, that's 25 hours. If I sleep for nine hours, that's 26 hours. So what happens is each day, my the time that I want to go to sleep pushes a little bit. You know, 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m. So there's times where I am just not awake when the store's open. It happens all the time. All my regulars know, like, oh, Sean's sleeping right now. And it's weird. But if I try to just be awake during the hours that people want me to fit into society, what happens is I'm exhausted and I can't do anything. And I work 10 to 15 hours every day. I'm very productive. I just can't be productive in the hours that people want me to. So I don't know why I'm like that. It's just the way I am. But it means that I can't plan out things into the future. I can't, you know, if someone, you know, like my dad will say, hey, let's go on a vacation. We plan it out four months from now. I can't do that. And I try to explain it, but it's hard to explain because a lot of people be like, oh, take melatonin or, you know, get sleeping pills. I just, I don't want to be forced to sleep during the normal hours I'm supposed to sleep because when I do that, I just don't function. And I have 10 to 15 hours of work I got to get done every day to do the things I want to do in life. I, you know, between the store and the YouTube and processing all this stuff, I need to be able to be at 100% when I'm awake. So sometimes that 100% is four in the morning. Sometimes that 100% is the middle of the day. So I got in the store late today. We uh, Cheyenne dropped off a giant pile of Funko Pops today that I was supposed to start working on at like noon, maybe 10. And just because I went to bed too early last night, it screwed up my sleep schedule. So now there's a whole pile. Let me kind of show you what's going on in the shop. Okay, so from here, I still have Tony's Pops from yesterday. Uh, I didn't price them out when we were processing them. We got a slight whiff of cigarette smoke on one or two of them. So it made me kind of worried. I asked Tony, he's not a smoker, but he says he does buy a lot of collections from people. So he might've bought one from a smoker. So what I did was I took them all out of their protectors. And today we have to just give them a sniff test to make sure it smells okay. Get them in protectors. So I didn't get those put together. I just decided to pull over here. You see all the protectors. We just pulled them all off and we're gonna give all those a sniff test as well. And if they smell fine, then I might just put them on some of my cheaper pops that have been in the shop for a while or I'll put them back on the Tony stuff. So I do have to price out this whole stack. The good news is almost every single one of his pops were in mint condition. You know, no signs of tears or like minor or no scuffing on the plastic, no dents. So I could just PPG all of them. I don't have to really grade them. It was, they were in great, fantastic condition. I like getting a collection in this condition. It was just that little whiff of cigarette smoke that got me a little bit worried. But once we got them all out, I think almost none of them smelled. It was maybe like, one that smelled a little bit once I pulled them out and I put that one to the side. I, if there was any smell, it was on the protectors. Okay, so I do have 
this giant collection here from Cheyenne that was I was supposed to work on this collection all day so this is gonna be very difficult because I'm gonna have to work on it while we're open which uh it's so hard to do that and I think two or three other people are supposed to bring in little piles of stuff my friend Sean wants to bring some more stuff in too uh, he said he's just gonna drop it off though so that I can work on it later which he does I mean sometimes I take a month to do it sometimes I take a few hours but he's very cool with me like that but yeah, I, I this is this is gonna be a lot of work. I'm just I'm not ready. Oh, and a whole bunch of loose pops. Okay, interesting. Oh, and some other non-pop stuff. Okay, interesting. Uh, I think this is gonna be fun to go through. I've been kind of pushing Cheyenne off for a few months just because I wasn't buying when he first asked. So uh, we just decided today was the day we'd try to get them in. But the problem is it's Friday, and I don't like having a big pile like this in front of the store for Saturday. So this is gonna be very difficult. Uh, when my wife gets back, picking up my son from school, we're just going to figure out a way to crank this out. And it, I mean, the weather's pretty nice today, so the store should be pretty busy. We sold a lot yesterday. It was actually one of our best days ever. Um, whew. I'm tired of thinking about it, but because I slept when I wanted to sleep today and not when I thought I had to sleep, I actually feel very rested right now. I don't feel like exhausted as I have been all week long. So I'm functional. I love it. I like being like this because now I know I can do a lot of stuff. And I just, I'm afraid of how much work I have to do today. So I don't know if I can get it done before we open. And I still have clutter on the records right here that have to go up. I have space for a couple things that sold right there. So, oh, actually, or maybe that was there. I'm not sure. I got to figure that out. I got to clean that up. Uh, we have, it looks like my wife already put a bunch of protectors together. You... Oh yeah, my friend Whitney dropped off pops last night that I have to add up. Uh, she just wants store credit, I believe, maybe some cash. But she already took a whole pile of stuff. So I uh, I just have to figure out and see would I still owe her for that. Really cool stuff though. I, like I might keep the Tina. I love that one. A couple Stranger Things. Here I'll move those. A couple Stranger Things double sets. A really awesome Space Jam set. Uh, Ramona Flowers. I gotta double check if I need the common Gossamer. And then uh, some Bob's Burgers. Robocop. The Robocop's kind of damaged, but I'm sure someone will want that. And then a bunch more Bob's Burgers, which is super cool. Okay, then. Uh, this side, I still have a couple boxes I gotta deal with, but this side has been relatively clean and organized for the week, so I'm happy about that. Uh, every time I look, I see these comic books. I just have to price these out one day. I just haven't found the time that I could do it. Uh, oh, and it looks like this side my wife has organized. Like, Tony took a ton of stuff off of these shelves, but it looks like she restocked it. This case is all filled up, so that's great. And these shelves look pretty full. Like if there's a little bit of room and probably... So yeah, I think she worked on the shelves right here a little bit. Because these don't look as emptied out. Or I mean, they look like they've been put back together in the boxes and then the shelves filled up. So that's good. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, oh, we have a few random Fantastic Four comics here. Wait, let me just clean this up. I'm not sure what happened. On Kenny X and Box. So we got some Bronze Age stuff. This goes in my Bronze Age box, which is supposed to be this box. It looks like people pulled out Uncanny X-Men. This is what happens when you run a store, it just, things get messed up. And you gotta reorganize constantly. It's just part of the job. And then that guy, I gotta put there. Uh, there's a random cool kid that just showed up. You wanna say hi to everyone? Hi. <laughs> I got chocolate. The chocolate is great. Okay, I just asked my wife about the she -Ro. I told her that's the only one I wanted. She put it in the cart. She got there right at nine o'clock. She put it in the cart. Said one minute wait. Then it said eight minute wait. Then it finally got to the cart. She put the credit card in. And then it said sold out. I hate this system. This system sucks. Funko, you gotta fix this system. I'm sick of it. All right, that's my rant of the day. That's That anger that I just had was a representation of my wife trying to help me out. <laughs> Cause she was really pissed at the Funko system. Okay, I went and I grabbed like eight or nine banker boxes. I'm gonna just go through all of Cheyenne stuff show you guys what's in the boxes so we can kind of have fun digging through them and then i can stack them up in the boxes and just try to get them done throughout the day as people come in and out i think it's gonna be difficult but we're gonna get it done first we're gonna go through this mystery box he said that he bought this at comic-con i think and uh we're gonna see what's in here let's see if it's a fun exciting mystery box let's see if we can get it open there we go we got oh wow okay sailor moon i wonder if he got that in the mystery box sailor moon stuff's great i don't get it that often so that's okay. gonna sell he might... wow that's some hits we got sailor chibi moon 
Sweet. Those will probably be sold by the time you see this video. Uh, Dr. Wiley from Mega Man. Love that one. Uh, now we're getting more to the stuff I would expect in a mystery box. Blanca. Just kind of like overstock stuff that probably didn't sell so well. Percival from Ready Player One. Artemis. 8-bit uh, Leonardo. That's cool. Uh, Scout from Team Fortress. I think that one has a little bit of value. That's cool. I don't get those one too often. Uh, Rush from Mega Man. Uh, Donatello 8-bit. That's kind of neat. Uh, Zavala from Destiny. And... Uh, Ikoria, or Ikora from Destiny. Okay, that's cool. Box number two. Oh, okay, so there's a bunch of statues and non-pop stuff in this one. Uh, okay, let's go through that last, because that's going to be a little bit harder for me to sort through. I'm wondering, there's a lot of Pokemon here, though. I wonder if it's all commons or if there's any, like, EX, GX better cards. The stuff that I need for the kids. Uh, okay, some regular rares. Okay, that's good. And, uh, let's see what this stack is. Some, uh, reverse holo rares. Okay, so it looks like there's some sort of interesting stuff in here. I'm kind of hoping there's a giant pile of EX, V, V Max, that kind of stuff. Because that's what the kids eat up. And that's what I just can't keep enough of. Got some sleeves. Uh, just a bunch of comments. Okay, let's dig through that box last. Let me go through the other boxes, see if there's more pops. Okay, box number two. Okay, this one is full of pops. Oh, and there's some fun stuff in here. Okay, we got a Nightwing, which I actually just sold one yesterday. So I got another one back in the shop. Uh, all right, let me just go down the line here. No, all right, let's see what we got. We got uh, Teal Chrome Batman, Venomized Miles Morales, the pink, color batman or rainbow batman venomized captain marvel uh purple chrome thanos the purple black panther my french one needs one because he broke his and i saw him the one with the damaged box i think because he just wants the pop uh, maximus philip carlisle i found waldo there he is uh, Venomized Thanos. Okay, I love this Green Lantern set. It's got three different Green Lanterns on it. Guy Gardner, Chip, and Kilowog. That one is super cool. Uh, Bombshell is Wonder Woman. That's neat. Uh, P.T. Barnum from The Greatest Showman. Venomized Doctor Strange. That one's neat. Uh, Stan Lee. I love that. Stan Lee from Guardians of the Galaxy. We have Venomized Storm, Dula Dent, Green Carom Thanos, the Green Rainbow Batman, Iron Spider. That one's neat. I love that one. Yeah, a lot of Marvel stuff in here. Uh, Venomized Groot. That alarm's still going off like an hour later. <laughs> okay, next row. Okay, we got Waldo. Okay, we got Infamous Iron Man. That one is super cool. Love that one. Uh, Purple Hulk. Uh, Rainbow Batman. Blue Chrome Hulk. Love that blue. That's a great blue. Uh, blue Chrome Thanos. This one's not as good. It's more of like a yellowy blue. Okay, he's got this one in a hard stack. Uh, okay, we have the Red Goblin. Love that one. That one is super dope. We got another Chrome Thanos. Orange Chrome. Kind of a nice orange Chrome. Uh, Batwoman. DC Bombshells. Ooh, really nice Red Chrome Hulk. Really strong red on that one. Alright, let me clear these out and make some more room. Okay, we have... Oh, the New York Comic Con version of the Chrome Joker. That one's a little bit more rare. Not too much more valuable, but still cool. We have the... Kind of orange, kind of red Thanos. That's kind of an odd color. Uh, Buddy the Elf, that one's awesome. Hawk Girl from DC Bombshells. Uh, art Series Batman. 
see what's on the top here. DC Bombshells Batgirl. Uh, Bearded Lady from The Greatest Showman. Ann Wheeler from The Greatest Showman. Oh, yeah. Thanos in a beautiful color. Harley Quinn as Robin. Love that one. That one's cute. And uh, Batwoman. That one's cool. I don't think I have that one. Actually, I kind of want to keep it, but no, I'm not going to keep. Got to not keep. Okay, what do we have? We have Silver Surfer. Love that one. That's the second Silver Surfer, I think. Uh, ooh, Stan Lee with the con sticker. That is cool. Uh, Miles Morales Gamer. Uh, Thomas Wayne Batman. Firestorm. Oh, I found him again. Waldo with his dog. I actually don't know if I have that version. That one's cool. Uh, and another Rainbow Batman. All right, uh, this box is pretty huge. It's kind of hard to go through everything. <laughs> all right, we have Art Series Batman. Uh, Officer Freddy. I might keep that one if I don't have it because that one's actually on my want list. Uh, Katana. That's cool. Green Chrome Hulk. Another Rainbow Batman. It looks like he pretty much had the whole set. Which is cool. Oh, the Red Batman. I like that one. The Target exclusive one. Johnny Rico. That's a lot of Batmans, which are good. Rainbow Batman. I like having Batmans for the shop. Oops. Uh, oh, the Chase Gamer Batman. That one's cool. Alright. Let me go through one more row and then I'll clear them out. Uh, the Batman Who Laughs. Orange Chrome Hulk. Uh, Retro Batman or Rainbow Batman in his regular color. Mini Galactus, which was stupid because they should have always just made him a giant Galactus. Still cool though. I love Galactus. And uh, Catwoman. All right, let me clear this layer and then we'll get into the bottom. Bottom row. Let's get in here. Let's see what we can find. Okay, we have White Lantern Sinestro. We have Carnage. That's cool. That one's going to sell quick. People are always looking for Carnage. Uh... First appearance Wolverine. White Lantern Superman. That one's pretty neat. That one's pretty Funko. Oh, this one's cool. Pretty sure I have that one, but I absolutely love that one. That one is neat. Uh, oh, we have the Chase Robot Batman. That one is cool. And then we have Carnage. Hot Topic exclusive. Uh, we have Cyborg Superman with the con sticker. That is neat. We have a beautifully colored Hulk. The most gorgeous... Tinges of yellow. Love that one. Uh, we have the purple chrome Joker. Alright, so we're officially opening while I'm digging through the box. Uh, we have Electro. We have Black Lantern Flash. We have Thanos. We have the... I guess the red glitter Slurpee. We have Venomized Ultron. Another color Slurpee. Those are cool. The Moon Pie Walmart exclusive. That is neat. I don't think I have that one yet. Uh, Drummer McNugget. Macaroni and cheese box. Uh, it's kind of dark in this box. Uh, Venomized Rocket. White Castle Burger. That is cool. I like that one. Uh, Slurpee in blue. Fry Guys. Uh, Green Lantern and Yellow Slurpee. All right, that's cool. Okay, we have another large box of pops to go through. Uh, I think these are all ad icons, which is great because I still owe some of my patrons that love ad icons pops. So hopefully there's some things here for them. We have a Chester Cheetah Diamond. That one's awesome. Icy Polar Bear. Regular Chester Cheetah. The Mimic the Monkey. The Pez one. Uh, Big Yella. The Pillsbury Doughboy in Christmas outfit. Mr. Owl. Energizer Bunny. Alright, let's see. Oh, this one's neat. I don't know if I've had this one before. We have the Metallic Twinkie the Kid. That one is cool. We have the Barney Rubble holding cereal bowl. Love that one. Strawberry Short Kook. The Coca-Cola Polar Bear. Wally Warheads. Captain Crunch. 
Yeah, a lot of ad icons. Uh, the regular Mimic the Monkey. The Little Orphan Orange with the little dog. Love that one. The Cosmic Captain Crunch. That one's cool. I don't get that one as often. Little Sweet. Uh, Chester Cheetah, the flocked version, I think. Or Go in the Dark version. That one's super cool. And Milton the Toaster. All right, let me clear these out. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got Woody Owl, the flock version. Colonel Sanders. Love Colonel Sanders. We have... We have the Easter Doughboy. And then the Valentine's Doughboy. Poncho Punch. Jack in a Box. Which I just sold the one I had. Uh, the Maxi the Seal. Sugar Smacks. Clinky the Kid. Uh, Peter Pez. Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh, Busby. Busby. And Sir Isaac Lime. Okay, let me clear out that layer. Okay, let's see what we have. We have Charlie the Tuna. Alexander the Great. Green Giant. Big Boy. Frankenberry. Yeah, super cool. Uh, Pillsbury Doughboy, the Shamrock version. All right, looks like we have some 10 inches on the bottom here. Count Chocula. That one's cool. We have Birdie the Early Bird. Okay, take care. Thank you. Thank you. We got a uh, slush puppy. We have Ronald McDonald's with glasses. We have the regular Ronald McDonald. We have the toucan with con sticker. The Kool Aid Man. All right, let me clear that layer. Okay, let's see the next row here. We have Booberry with Bowl, the Diggum Frog, Pez Girl, oh, the Morton Salt Girl with diamond hair. I don't know if I have that one. That one was high on my want list. Uh, Slush Puppy, Grimace, I might keep that one. I'm gonna be so tempted. Uh, Hamburglar, the, well, this one's a little bit more rare, the Captain Crook. Fred Flintstone, the Hot Tamales, uh, the Movies mascot, Pringles can, I like that one, that one's cool. Huh? The Tapatio Man, that one's kind of neat too, I kind of want that one. Uh, Mayor McCheese. Officer Mac. All right, let me clear this layer. Okay, final pile to go through. Uh, the Dim Dums Drum Man. Love that one. Love that he has the lollipop in his hand. Uh, the Tennis McNugget. The Fireman McNugget. The Cowboy McNugget. Rockstar McNugget. And then let me get the 10 inches. Okay, then we have two 10 inch ad icons. We have Count Chocula and Frankenberry, which I don't think I have either in the shop right now. So that's good. Like adding things that we don't have. Okay, so these are all the pops that were loose in the bag. Lots of really fun ones. I don't think anything too valuable. I usually sell loose pops from like five to seven dollars a piece. The deluxe sets maybe like seven, the vehicle maybe 10. Really awesome. I might keep that mash up though. So that one's amazing. All right, cool stuff. Okay, so Emerson just brought a whole bag of pops and comics I could go through, so I gotta work on those and then get back to Cheyenne stuff. Ooh, lots to do today. One of the founding members on my new membership on YouTube, Jason. Hey. He came in the shop and he got a Papa's. You wanna show him? Oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a must. I'm gonna eventually run out of these things, I think. <laughs> Signed. Signed, collector's item. Super cool. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. Have awesome. a good one. You too. All right, so this is the stuff Emerson's trading in. We have a Combat Carl, Imperial Super Commander, General Hux, a Power of the Force Luke, Tien with Chatsu, Raven, Jimin from BTS, Skiing Freddy,
Pirates of the Caribbean Dog, Spartan Mark 7, and the really cool Maleficent Dragon. The box is a little bit beat up, but the dragon's really awesome. And it's the international sticker, so it's a little bit cheaper. All right, awesome stuff. All right, super busy day. I'm working on Whitney's stuff. I'll finish that later. Uh, Justin just brought in a couple boxes of stuff. He wants store credit. So I'm gonna go through all of these and figure out what he has. Ooh, it looks like there's some fun stuff in there. All right, let me start pricing them out and then I'll sum them up and show you what's in there. All right, I got the first batch of stuff from Justin priced out. It's all bigger stuff. Awesome Jaws, Stranger Things set, which I really want. A Batman set, Red Skull versus Captain America movie moment. Deadpool versus Cable. I love this Jack on Angel. That one's amazing. I need that one as well. Uh, I guess that's R2-D2 and Howard the Duck. And then down here we have a 10-inch Kylo Ren. Super cool. I think Justin is just trying to make space for all this stuff. Because this <laughs> stuff is large. <laughs> Alright, let me get through the next box. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> it's too cool. I really want this one. Alright, going into the collection. Alright, so I'm here so with I Alex and Justin. Uh, Justin is training. You're training Alex or Alex owes you? No, I'm treating you treat it. So you treat him. So you treat awesome. in a bunch of stuff. Let me show you what they're picking out. We have uh, just really awesome Ninja Turtle stuff. I don't know why that's still here, but I'm Thank glad God. you guys again. They're awesome. And then Alex, you're getting a bunch of really awesome uh, Batman stuff, right? Really excited for this one. Yeah, the Arrow one is super really awesome. Excited. Love that one. They're all really cool. They're yeah. all sick. So yeah. Thank Thanks. So much, I appreciate Thank the you. trade. Thank it's been awesome. awesome. Guys, come here. It's a great Best shop. shop. Yeah, we, we had fun. <laughs> <laughs> time. All right, on to my next project. <laughs> okay, so here's more of Justin's stuff. The regular size pops. We have uh, Oogie Boogie, Gingerbread Thor, Barrel, The Clown, uh, GameStop, Darth Vader, Vampire Jack, LeBron James, Captain America, Darth Vader, another Darth Vader, another Darth Vader, uh, Drew McIntyre. The Darth Vaders are good in the jack skeletons are great all right let me remove the front row so i can show you what's behind them okay and then in the back row we have a couple cap americas and then more jack skeletons the really cool diamond one the darth vader that lights up absolutely love that one a uh, vampire jack and the jack skeleton with the worm in his head love that one too such awesome stuff Ooh, it's been a very long non-stop day we got a lot done today but there's still a ton more i still have to go through the rest of the cheyenne stuff and price it out I think that's going to end up taking me a few days to get through because it's just really hard. I don't really like the price stuff or work on Saturday, but I think I'm going to have to just to get through that collection. So tomorrow, while it's really busy, I'll be digging through the pops. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye.